Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's talk about how to use this tool, um, this uh, truss simulator. Uh, I've given you the, uh, the link to this. So first, you're going to see this kind of screen, and we need to start by setting this thing up, because first of all, this is a one-by-one -one grid um, for each one of these tiny little spaces. So we're going to need to change that. So first of all, down here at the bottom, um, grid spacing is now 0.1. So we're going to change that to a one, one by one grid. Okay. Now it's too small. So we're going to have to change our dimensions of our grid. Um, let's make it um, our horizontal about instead of six, let's make it about 15 and make the other one uh, the other direction 10. Click update and that'll give you a a grid that you can use. Now there is a zero, zero, but it doesn't really matter where you start. The other thing we're gonna do is change your force scaling to, um, I think 200 will work, because otherwise it might make uh, arrows that are gonna go off of your grid, because the force is how much force per unit, um, which everybody's different, so um, this should work. So again, we changed our grid spacing to one by one, we changed the dimensions of the grid to 15 by 10. Um, and now um, we changed our force scaling to um, 200. You can also um, extend and shrink the window by clicking um, on these little arrows or zoom in or zoom out. So you can kind of, kind of play around with that. I'm going to just use my zoom here okay so we're going to start by putting in nodes and i'm going to do um the southeast second truss as an example um so we'll start out by putting a node somewhere kind of over in here um if if for some i've had zero pop up when i didn't mean to click on it you can always go back and up here is delete single and you can click on anything and delete it Okay, so we have to put in nodes. These are the points first. So make sure you don't have extras, right? And this little table will pop up as you do this. So there's one. The next one is one, two, three, four, five over. One, two, three, four, five. And then there's one more one, two over from that. Uh, and then on this particular one, there's another point that's one, two, three, four up. One, two, three, four up. Okay. By the way, your scale will look a little bit different when you do this because if you look at your images of the um, of the trusses, they've kind of been stretched out horizontally a little bit, so it won't look exactly the same, and that's okay. All right, you're going to add a member force now. Now remember that you have five, and not, you don't go straight all the way across here. So by you add a member by clicking on each point that you want to put a member in between, right? So click there, click there, click there, click there, click there, click there, and click there, and click here. All right, so there is our truss. Now we're going to add our supports. Okay, so there is a pinned support and a roller. Now, on this case, you got to kind of visualize what's happening here. This thing could roll horizontally, right? So we're putting in a horizontal roller. We'll start with a pin. It looks a little different than what we're used to because it won't have that triangle. The pin is over here at this point. Now it's going to show up as a square, okay? Um, that's okay. Just know that the square means that that point is pinned. And then we're going to put in, for this one, we're going to put in a horizontal roller like that. For your other one that has, um, that's like it's up against a wall, you'll do a vertical roller for that one. And finally, we're going to put in forces. Okay, now you have on all of these, we have a downward force here, and we have a force that's going to the left up here. So um, we click on the point. Do I pull? Uh-oh, what's happening here? Uh, let me try that again. Putting in a force, click on the point. 
oh, there we go. My, it was just being sluggish. And then it will allow you to kind of go whatever direction we want and we're going to click. Now, that automatically, because I did my force scaling at 200, that one unit is gonna be at 200. So we're gonna have to change that in this little box that popped up to whatever your value is in your truss. On that one, it is, I believe, 80 on that one, 60. So we're gonna change that. And this time you do have to put in a direction. So it's negative 60 to indicate that it is going down in the Y direction. Okay, um, Okay, and it should change that. Made the um, arrow a little smaller. You could go back and change your force scaling if you don't like it. Maybe change it back to 100 so I can see that. Um, A little that arrow will lengthen a little bit more. Uh, I'm not that concerned about it. Okay, now we're going to put in another force at point three, okay, which is going that way. And again, we're going to have to change the value on this one. It is looks like 110. Uh, yours might be a little bit different. So again, change it and make sure that the arrow is going the right direction. Okay, so we've got everything set up. We've got our members, we've got our forces, we've got our pins. Um, it looks how it's supposed to look. And now we can finally go up here and hit um, solve once, okay? And now it's gonna give us all of these things. Now what's weird about this is that the pin is gonna look um, a little weird because it's only giving one resultant force, but you should have already figured that out anyway. Um, so, um, don't worry if this is looking different than what your original solution was. We're actually worried about getting our, um, internal forces on this because you should have already figured out the external forces. So things in red are in compression and things in blue are in tension. Um, so this is going to give you kind of your cheat sheet right, to, um, to use for when we go back into method of joints and make sure we're doing this correctly. All right, so you're going to take a screenshot of your, um, of your truss solution and put that into the assignment. And uh, you'll do that for the three of your trusses. And then we will um, work next time on continuing with method of joints and make sure that we're right about that. All right, enjoy. Have a good day. See you next time.